he's been there a while. Good morning. Well, mid morning, going on lunch. Just going out for a couple of hours to get the dog out of the house. Um, just chuck the pizza in the oven. So we'll pull up in half an hour and have a feed. More about just getting the dog out, letting him have a run around the beach and whatnot. Oh, the train coming. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, while I'm out here, I'll show a few of the latest little things I've done to the cruiser and have a chat about a few little things remaining that I'd like to do. Um, but yeah, just a chilled one, bit of a feed, let the dog have a run, and uh, get the tyres dirty. Anyway, too easy, we'll see you on the beach. I was just going to run you through the few little things I've done in the last month or two. Um, if you haven't seen my previous video, sort of a walk around, I'll put a little tab up now. You can click on that and I'll save it, whatever. Um, but yeah, I've sort of, I've had this about six months now, so it's been a bit of a process and there's still more stuff to do, but money, money, money. But anyway, I'll... Um, I'll talk from back here and I'll put some little overclips, a bit of a close up. So this drawer system here, so originally I just had all tubs and I was finding it quite annoying um, for sort of my main cooking gear and hits and bits in a tub. I sort of every time I grab something I'd open the lid and uh, get into it and then everything would fall in the middle of the tub and every time I put something back in it, it was, it was becoming uh, quite annoying. So. I was in super cheap order and I seen this drawer here and I just it just ticked all boxes. Um, yeah, so basically um, it's I tie my cooker on top and instead of having to reach in and tighten all that, so this top slides off. So I can you know tie my cooker down and all that sort of stuff. Um, so it's got that and then it's also got this little my bar pouring drinks and whatnot or making a coffee or just whatever little prep table um, so that's really cool and then obviously yeah, your drawer so that go that's quite deep I think it's 900 
on memory. Um, so that, yeah, I just keep all the ins and bits of cooking gear, just the stuff that you're always going to use. A little coffee bag in here, etc. So that's really handy. So that's the first thing out of the out of the little list of new mods. Uh, I've also put a um, three and a half inch exhaust, just DPF back. Wanted to keep it all legal, and to be honest, I quite enjoy when I tow my boat or tow something not covering it in diesel. So uh, quite happy to go out the road. Uh, so yeah, just three and a half inch back, outback exhaust. Um, I'll throw links to this stuff I'm mentioning just in case you want to have a look at it. Because um, I'm, I'm not that good at explaining stats and statistics. So I'll just drop a link in the comments um, and you can click and read for yourself. Yeah, really enjoy it. Um, it's not crazy loud, of course, because it's, you know, DPF back, but it um, definitely gives it that V8 sound especially under load on soft stuff and uh, when you're forbian and that so but just on the idle and whatnot and on your highway cruises like a tow the van and stuff and uh, boats so I didn't want something that's hectic loud and droney but definitely get um, a good note out of it apparently you get a bit of power out of it too the three inch exhaust apparently didn't change too much power wise but the three and a half you got a you got a little bit of kick out of it so but I, uh, it's not on a dyno or anything, so I couldn't, I can't vouch for that. But that's what I was told, um, and and well priced too. So again, I'll drop a link. Yeah, so this this ball bar from Iron Man. Um, so the first one, I was actually getting a bit of bubbling under the powder coating, so I took it back to them. Um, they pretty much just took one look at it and said that's not good enough. So they've replaced the whole bar, which was kind of handy because. Uh, when I first got it installed, I forgot to get the recovery points put on. So I've, I've got left and right um, rated recovery points now, um, which was handy. Obviously they had to take the bar off, so put the new one on. So I got that done at the same time. So they're all on there now. Um, what else? Uh, also had the Pioneer rack, the uh, Rhino rack um, put, put on. Um, Loving that things, the versatility of it with all your different mounts and stuff. I haven't actually got anything mounted to it as of yet. Um, and I probably won't need to, to be honest. My shovel stays inside. I don't carry a high lift jack. I've got one, but I just don't carry it. Um, and pretty much all I've got is the little eyelet removable tie down points for swags, really. That's what I'd throw up there. I can fit my swag in my canopy potentially two or three really but it just it, it would be on top of all my storage in there and um, anyone knows that when you got to move something to get to something it becomes very annoying so if I'm with mates or family or whatever and we've got the swags in we'll just tie them up on top it keeps the canopy all clear and accessible so beautiful rack love it looks good too it sort of filled it out because my um, my canopy was custom made to my tray um, so it was quite a bit higher than the roof, well not quite a bit, but you know, a good a good six, seven inches higher than the, the roof of the car. Um, and that, that just filled it out perfect and it ended up beautifully level um, with the tray headboard and the canopy. So it's, it just sort of finishes off uh, visually as well, as well as giving me some tie down points. And um, my theory of it was I've got these old PVC waterproof um, bags they're just like old army bags really dive bags we used to call them and they're really good waterproof bags so we uh my idea if, if i'm chopping some wood and whatnot with a little chainsaw or axe or whatever i can fill them bags and i can also tie them up on the roof and i don't have to worry about it getting wet or you know when you're throwing logs up and you're trying to strap it all down and it just keeps everything in the bag um then you just got one strap over it so it saves a lot of headaches Lucky! He's over there, probably potentially getting eaten by a croc. But anyway, next thing. Uh, lighting's probably pretty bad in this shot, but uh, the Safari Armac Snorkel. Big, big sucker. It's huge. It looks good. It sucks like you know what. It's brilliant. I love it. Um, and it's uh, a first step in a potential ECU 
tickle up down the track. So um, Safari had done that. The new adjustable ECU unit, I don't know exactly what it's called, but it basically gives you five modes. Um, instead of, I'm not really into chipping and all that sort of stuff, but an ECU upgrade adjustable system might be on the cards. Definitely not in the near future, but in the future. So the Armax, Safari Armax is going to um, counter that's the first step anyway. But either way, I didn't like the Toyota one. It wasn't a snorkel per se, raised air intake, had the joins and potential room for damage not that I've been in water up to my bonnet or anything yet anyway but I do like to give stuff a go so protection don't mind spending the money where it's protects these expensive motors and vehicles so another little upgrade oh yeah so the other thing I did where are you I don't know if you can see me is I've um I've carpeted a bit of uh marine ply in here and fixed it to the back wall um, which gives me a lot more tie down points so I've got my um, Makita chainsaw mounted up top here strapped in so that can't go anywhere um, just with another one of them little net pockets that I always crap on about they're just so handy for throwing stuff in um, yeah so that's just a uh, just finishes the canopy off to be honest mount wise and a little safe here um, I had this lying around so I thought I'd use it um, Basically all I've done with that is I've grabbed like eggshell foamy material and I've coated it and I've cut out room for a couple of bottles of rum <laughs> So that's what I'm using for that uh, So when I'm on the tracks and that I know my my uh, bottles of spirits aren't floating around getting smashed and potentially ruining my night um, I think nothing else has changed here again there was that link that runs through the rest of it if you haven't seen it before so feel free to go have a sussy uh, but this is how I'm packed pretty much like it looks like it's a fair bit in here that's just my camera box drone and all that crap so I've literally just run two of the tubs I've got my drawer now and that's it throw the swag on the roof or in here if I'm just on my own or there if the dog's not with me whatever yeah, so they're the most recent mods uh, on top of all the big money stuff that I did at the start. Um, next upgrades would be 100% I've got to do the brake booster on this thing. Um, I come from a 97 Hilux that I had for 10 years. Like a 97 Hilux. And I swear to God, that brake's probably never been touched besides the pads. And that thing felt safer than this in terms of braking. So um, it wasn't the best when it was new with no weight on it. Now it's got all that extra weight on it. Um, a bigger brake booster is the next mod, full stop. Uh, which isn't expensive and it's not hard to do. So definitely would recommend doing that if you're looking at these cruises and that. Um, so there's that. Um, what else was there? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, long range fuel tank. Um, so I'm looking at the Brown Davis, the actual separate tank. So it's not a replacement, it's an auxiliary tank. And what I like about it is it's 100 and, 110 litres and it, fit, it sits under the cab. It's got its own filler, fuel gauge, etc. And what I like about that is if you're kind of, um, or even just for everyday use, say you're towing the boat or van and you're not needing both tanks of fuel, you can sort of take that 130 that's uh, the original tank at the back and you can just not fill it basically and you can just run run it, you know what I mean, fill the centre tank up and not even worry about the back one and that's potentially, you know, 100 odd kilo of weight off your arse end just for general use, you know, you might have a van and you, you're, on the, you're teetering on, you dipping a bit in the arse end or whatever. But uh, so that's another mod I want to do, and that'll give me. Uh, I think this one's 130 litre plus the 110. It might be 110, sorry, from Brown Davis. Um, so that's 240, and then I've got the two jerry can holders on the back if needed. Um, so that gives me a potential 280 litres of onboard fuel. Um, so that that'd be really good. So there was that. Um, 
just want to change my little hook on my winch. Uh, might get one of them Factor 55s or whatever they're called. Um, geez, there wasn't. I'm getting down to the little knickknack thingies now, but there'll be there'll be other stuff. But I'll uh, fill you in as it goes. But anyway, I'm just going to sit here and enjoy enjoy the view. I've got islands out here. I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11 islands out the front of me. It's blowing a bit. Um, today is a Thursday. Saturday's looking mint. So hopefully we'll get the boat out local. I might go up to Lucinda and uh, push out the reef and try get my little uh, my little fix on some GTs and stuff. So, but yeah, just beautiful. I, I, I love just chilling out and that. He loves it. He's been stuck in the house. I've been flat out lately doing all sorts of stuff. Um, financially and potentially buying a house etc so I'll just, you know fill you in with that if that all goes through it's going to be a good little good little hub to uh, to make videos from um, yeah kick back the pizza's in the oven you probably saw that earlier that's probably only got five ten minutes to go kick back joy feed let the dog piss on a few more trees and uh, get back in time to pick kids up from school. Sweet as. Right on. Alright guys, cheers for watching, just a short little one, <clears throat> haven't had a video for a few weeks so I do apologise for that, um, like I think I mentioned before, I should be getting out fishing Saturday so I should have a video up by Sunday, um, thanks very much for watching, enjoy, um, that's about it, thank you, thank you, later.